Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel for another Payday 3 dev blog update. As you will have noticed last week I didn't do a video on the blog in the end because it was just an interview with Gustavo Cachimio who is the composer of Payday 3. Well worth reading but I had absolutely no commentary to offer on that so I figured best not. And since the first video since Insomnia 72, quickly thank you to everyone who sought me out at the convention and said hi and took photos. I really was quite surprised by how many of you there were and it means a lot to me so thank you to everyone who did that. But we're back in business, we got another weekly dev blog to go through, this one is quite short but gives us details on the free thrower bolt we're going to be getting in the game at some point in the next few months, hopefully, question mark. Uh, this is about the Pig Tickler, uh, also known technically as the Shot Grenade. You can see the picture of it here. I do honestly really like the look of this, and the name is a quite cool little idea. But Mio's given us a bit of an update as to how this is going to work, but it just says that it's in a future update, so no idea how soon that will be. It is worth mentioning in this video, however, that Elizabeth did mention on a stream yesterday that they are in the process of getting ready to film the next dev update. Again, when they make these dev updates as soon as they go out the update is usually a week after so if they're filming it soon then that means an update could be very well on the cards for april good slightly better pacing is what we need for this game and hopefully it'll make a bit of a difference i just hope that it's got an actual heist in it it's you know a bit ropey that we still don't know when boys in blue is coming out and if it takes much longer it's going to be really rough i mean we've already had now going on four months without a new heist in this game that's not good. But anyway, that's debate from the video. Let's talk about the throwable. So let's go into the main explanation of the shot grenade though and how it works. The shot grenade, also known by its in-universe name, the Pig Tickler 187, is a new crowd control tool for your arsenal. When you throw the grenade, it will explode three times before it expires. Any enemy hit by any of the four explosions becomes stunned for one second, and after the stun expires, they'll become slowed for three seconds. So, obviously, immediate confusion here, and actually that made me have to pause the video to check this, but there is a GIF down here that shows you it in action, and it will explain more of what's happening in the GIF at the moment, but you can see it does fire off three times before the GIF ends. So, it seems to me like it's three times and not four, so that's where the typo is hopefully going to be corrected. So, it stuns enemies for a second, and once the stun expires, Spires, if they aren't obviously stunned again by one of the following uh, explosions, then they will still be slowed for three seconds. Any enemy or civilian hit by the initial explosion will be the start of an electric arc, and this arc will jump to the closest enemy seven times before it expires, as long as they're not too far away from each other. Any enemy hit by the arc will get the full effect of the shot grenade stun, and this gives it some more different coverage from the flashbang, as you could stun a group behind corners and not in a fixed radius. The downside compared to a flashbang is that enemies will be stunned for a shorter duration. The other thing I have a problem with here, and this is another typo bit of information that's not really clarified, it says any enemy or civilian that's hit by it, but then it says it will jump to the closest enemy seven times. So will it not jump to other civilians as well? Is it only the first civilian that triggers the arc and then it auto focuses on enemies and not civilians? I'm not assuming that's the case, but it's not explained very well. So that's another thing that needs correcting here. But also while the actual grenade does no damage by itself, some law enforcement are more conductive than others. And so any shield, zapper or techie hit by the shot grenade will die immediately. Sadly, the dozer will maintain his crowd control resistance. So we won't be shocked at your attempts to use this grenade against him. So... Unfortunately, all three of these have confusing points or things that I'm not a big fan of. Overall, I do think that the grenade sounds good. I want to preface that right now. It does sound like a really cool thing, but confusion as to whether it hits enemies or civilians with the arcs, whether it actually does have three or four charges, the gift could cut off, but mostly... This is the thing that annoys me the most. While the actual grenade does no damage by itself, melee not dealing any damage is a very big criticism people have for Payday 3. I don't like that they're doing something else that feeds into that criticism even more. Don't get me wrong, it instantly killing shields, zappers, and techies is a great idea. Don't get rid of that. I think that's brilliant. But just even a little bit of base damage for these shot grenades would make a world of difference. It feels like it's actually worth them throwing into a crowd of people rather than just to stun them. You get a bit out of it as well with a little bit of damage. Even if it isn't an insta-kill, it still makes a difference. Much like with the melee weapons, you know, the idea that it stuns enemies every time you hit them, good. Why doesn't it also deal a little bit of damage? You know, why just hitting someone 20 times not do anything to them other than you just standing over them going, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. It's not worth it. It's not a really good idea in my personal opinion. So I do think that could do with amending as well. It does also though say that shot grenades will benefit from some of the existing skills in the game and should serve to give more options to expand your arsenal and all of those skills will be affected by it. So skills from different uh, lines, but that's it. It says, let us know what you think and other throwables you'd like to see in the future and that's the blog post. So a bit of information about the shot grenade, some confusing information, and no ETA. So, some good and some bad, which unfortunately is very much par for the course of Payday 3 at this point, but that's everything to talk about. My personal thoughts, as I said, I think this sounds really good, but it could do with having a bit more clarification before it goes out. I, I think sometimes with these blog posts, you want to make sure that you're clarifying the information as best as possible, and they're not doing that sometimes. There are questions that are left unanswered, and they either have to be answered on streams or on Twitter or something. I think they could do with some more internal feedback with these posts to make sure that they answer everything. Everything is checked for typos, for one thing. You want to look as professional as possible, make these as easy to understand for players as possible and this one in particular is not one of the best ones cool feature 
Could have been a better blog post in my personal opinion. But either way, that's everything with this blog post. So we'll leave it there. Short video, but that's all you need to know. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all soon with whatever the next Payday 3 news update is. Maybe it's the next dev update or maybe it'll be next week with Dev Blog 8. Whatever it is, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.